Oh, hello again and um, in this lesson we're looking at color wavelength and frequency now in the previous video I did tell you not much about light other than it is mysterious for one um, although it's being demystified as scientists are discovering more and more of its phenomenal properties and one of the properties we looked at was that it has wave-like properties in that um, there's wavelengths uh, velocity, wavelengths, uh, let me write that down, we have the velocity, we have wavelengths, and we have frequency. And I also told you that uh, that light is actually just our perception of the electromagnetic spectrum. So this is the visible spectrum the visible spectrum of the electromagnetic the e, electromagnetic spectrum and there's more there's more of this spectrum more waves that we can't perceive with our eyes i mentioned that and the but the visible spectrum that we do perceive is in fact colors we perceive colors which is just different frequencies and wavelengths of light so let's go and have a look at those frequencies and wavelengths. Okay, so what are the wavelengths and how do we perceive them? Well, we we have, for example, the, uh, the violet light, which is about between 400, uh, sorry, 380 up to about 450 nanometers. I mentioned in the previous video, and one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 9, one billionth of a meter. Okay, and then we have the blue. Okay, so from here to about there we have blue. And blue is at from about 450 to about 490. Okay, I did that a bit far. Okay, 450, let's put it there. 450 to about 490 that is blue then um, after blue we get green okay and green goes up to about here from about 490 we go to about 570 okay so to about 570 that would be the green portion of the visible light and uh, then up to about there we have that's about 590 590 we have yellow okay and then we have after yellow we have orange okay and orange goes to about 620 nanometers and then up to about 750 nanometers okay we have red okay so here we have red orange yellow okay after yellow we have green after green we have blue okay and after blue we have violet okay now the one that I did not mention and that's actually in here is indigo okay so there's an indigo color as well and with that in mind you can almost remember it with an and this is uh, just a way of remembering in which order these colors come Roy G Berv a dude with the name his name is Roy middle name is whatever G stands for and his surname is Biv red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet this is the color spectrum going from um, increasing wavelength to decreasing wavelength that's the color spectrum okay uh, but what else can I tell you well you might ask me more what about white light that's actually what we experience most so we don't see light coming from the Sun as being this these colors actually uh, you do why do you think the, the sky is blue it's because of the color spectrum okay never nevertheless what about white light a torch shines white light doesn't it well actually white light is not a frequency 
or a, a wavelength per se, but actually a combination of all of the uh, visible spectrum all being perceived as one. In other words, we have red, okay, we have red, we have orange, we have yellow, okay, we have all of these colors that is being perceived at the same time ends up being perceived as all of it together will be perceived as white light okay so that white light actually comprises of all of the colors and how can we demonstrate that how can I say that well the experiment that is used in order to demonstrate this is to shine white light through a triangular prism and then what you notice is that when when that is done the the light that passes through the spectrum disperses the different wavelengths okay once it, it disperses once inside the spectrum oh, sorry the um, the prism and once outside the prism again I'll explain that in the next video the dispersion of white light and then when it's eventually shined on some sort of uh, whatever you want to shine it on then we notice that it creates the visible spectrum or the color spectrum and that is because white light consists of all the colors and when it is passed through a spectrum the light is refracted that means it bends towards the normal the normal being a 90 degree um, angle with the surface and when it comes out it again bends towards the normal okay or actually when it comes out it bends away from the normal we'll explain that in the next video and therefore we see how it now uh, refracts and breaks light up into the different wavelengths that it consists of Okay, that, all that in the next video. It was great speaking to you about color, wavelengths, and frequencies. I didn't say much about frequencies. All I can say is that with each frequency, with each color, a frequency is also associated, and that makes sense because velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. So if you have the wavelength, you already have the velocity of uh, light, the speed of light, and if you can go and calculate the frequency very easily. I'll leave it there and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.